Hey, little bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out. Um, um, everybody we connect with is either teaching us or helping us learn things about ourselves we might not have been aware of or things that were better yet to come that we can open our eyes up to and that's truly a blessing we're able to see that as well so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you uh are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or a friend or even an empath that needs spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up i can also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this peaceful beautiful mu music i got in the background is called soul healing meditation music you can listen to forever find yourself with tones for harmony and joy and i will go ahead and post that that link in the description box below and my video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas don't worry about anything pray about everything i forgot where i seen oh i seen that on a video and i forgot it's like a, a bible verse i can't remember uh, what chapter it's in um uh it, it's just like we go, go through so many things in our life and you know on this road of self-discovery you know is allowing us to know ourselves on like on a deep deep level on places we, we weren't even aware of you know it's just amazing when we can learn more about ourselves that you know things that's been placed in our life and there's sometimes you know i can look at the situations i'm put in and i'm just like what are you serious when they when the universe be trying to tell me something about myself i'll be busting out laughing i say are you so serious right now you know and it, it's just like a lot of times when we're on our journey and everything you know there will be certain things we are unclear of or we don't know what leads us and that opens the door out for you know anxiety depression scared fear you know and it's just like anytime you leave yourself open for stuff like that it's uh basically giving that energy for things to not unfold the way they're supposed to or it takes a little bit longer or you might self-sabotage yourself so that's why the reason why they tell you, you you shouldn't worry about anything even though when we're human you know we do have that habit of worrying about this because we don't know where our future holds you know there's a lot of times universe allows us to see you know universe god creator source whoever you you know uh, you worship to allows us to be able to see certain things in our life that is unfolding and they're able to um basically show you little things in your life just basically telling you yeah you will be doing this but we're not going to tell you how you got there or how you what you had to do to get there those are the step by step towards the journey of your path of you finding yourself and you need to know you know they want to be able to give you that you know those so many synchronicities and signs that things are going to unfold for you in the better but you have to be able to trust within yourself and trust the process of your journey you know because if we sit up here in place worry on things that they try to send us we our higher selves already know we got that in the bag it's already written but it's just the fact that you got to go through this journey of self-discovery on certain things you need to forgive certain things you need to acknowledge certain things you need to part with certain things you need to forgive you know certain things you need to step out that comfort zone and do you know all these things are coming towards that stage you know because anytime you know i, I mean there are certain things i sit up here in my life you know I mean, they're like I tell you before, you would have been with me for a while. I can look at my dad's picture and I'm like, is this really true? You know, because it's just like, okay, you know, did I really go through this? There's times I cry, you know, and I'm like, it, you know, because I really love my mom's ex-husband. I, I can't call him the D word or the F word because it's like, you don't apply. I can't call you either one of those things because that doesn't apply to you. You know, at one time it did. But sometimes I sit up here and think, did I really go through this? Did 
my mom's ex-husband really do these things to me for these certain things to come out to that surface you know and it's like a lot of times my life seems surreal to me and there's times I cry you know can't believe the person I really looked up to that especially was supposed to protect me would be the last one I would think would stab me in my back in so many different ways so it's just like I had to be able to pray for that you know you can't sit up here and worry about you know how things are going to unfold Yes, we do that a lot, <laughs> you know, because especially if you know what you're trying to, you know, manifest in your life, you know what things that has uh, been placed in your life for you to be able to aim for, you know, it can be scary at times because you don't know, you know, why you're working on yourself. They'll let you know there's so many different things. I don't know if you're my type of person like me. I'm a numbers girl. Like my dad's our fish and coffee. I, I was obsessed with numbers. I will always go look certain things up. In my life you know and there are those things that has connected with me like I've been blessed to be able to talk to people who know my dad and being able to tell them certain things they weren't aware of my dad is they're doing the same thing for me so there's a lot of things I got to know about my family on certain parts you know that I wasn't aware of certain things I already knew for myself and then it adds on to the things that my mom also used to tell me so it's like a, a lot of these different puzzles are coming in then I've been blessed with love bugs that you know love my dad on that level they sent me more things to be able to say Rosalind you know he left this for you or Rosalind he you know this is a song about you and his connection and I was being able to be blessed with all these different things that came in my life and it was just like you know there's times I did worry I'm not, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all I'll keep that real you know being able to do that and just being able to see where all these things got me you know it allowed me to see the bigger picture you know and a lot of times we have to be able to step back and be able to have that faith in the universe you know and a lot of times they were like wait a minute they told me to put this down and I don't know if I can yes you can you know there was times that I didn't think I was going to be able to put down that lighter and that blunt or that cigarette or that glass of wine but I have none of those three in my life you know yeah my stuff is not here but ego wants you to play on that it's like see they told you to drop these things and you'll end up having your blessings you still ain't had them but no I don't but there are so many other things that I had to learn to come to terms with there's a lot of things about myself that was never that has not been yet unveiled to me that I needed to educate myself on so I had to be able to trust that process to know whatever is heading towards me is going to be for me you know, there's a lot of times that certain things just came into my life where doors were shut. But I, that doesn't mean I had to give up on stuff. I'm not going to give up on stuff like that. You know, but I had to be able to understand why certain things happen. You know, there's a lot of times that we can go through certain things in our life. And there'll be, like, it, signs come towards us in so many different levels. Like, there was times I was angry. I was so angry at the world like God why would you let me know this now why would after my dad died why would I have to know this now you know why couldn't this happen before but there was opportunities I had a chance on going but for my mom's ex-husband and his wife to be the way they are they never when they tell me they got surprises out for me and soon as they do that you know uh, I mean what the hell your, your surprise will probably land me in a ditch with my head busted why the way it, heck open those are not the type of people that will do go out their way to do stuff for me like that unless it's for them to be able to oh see what we did it would be just the same face or have their self look a certain way so it was just like you know especially with the with my dad being my twin flame that strong energy was coming so with that being who they are and plus that's energies coming at me at one time it was having my gut like oh hell no nah, i ain't about to go over there they probably sacrifice me or something in that naughty stuff whatever you know um but it was like a lot of different things occurred in my life that I had to seek you know prayer for I had to really go through that you know be able to understand why I had to go through what I had to go through knowing I had to have faith in myself so it's like anytime you have something going on in your life you know if you have placed it on you know whoever you 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 pray to whether it's Allah or you know great Jehovah or whatever who you ever you decide to lay your your plans on your blessings that these things you're trying to manifest in your life you only should have to say it one time and that's why I had to you know learn they know your situation they know what has happened to you they know who who did the things to you to make these things happen and trust believe everything will fall into place I have to tell myself that every trust the process everything's falling in place you just have to be patient and I'm impatiently patiently waiting you know because see I'm a tourist so God is allowing me on the things that I fall short on oh he gonna trust and believe he gonna make it strong for you 
So whatever, if you don't love yourself, he's going to put you in certain situations where you have no choice but to love yourself. Um, when you are trying to be in a relationship, he's going to allow you to go through the stages on being that person that you want to be able to be in that relationship. I know I saw a video a couple of days ago and it reminded me of the things I used to say. It's like when you say you're lonely and you say you're ready for a relationship, I ask people, I said, just like I've asked myself right in this point right now, with everything that's going on in your life, whether it's good or bad. If you found you a mirror image of you, now I'm not talking about the twin flame situation, but a exact mirror of you. Would you date you? I'll wait. <laughs> you have to be able to do that. So if you got a whole bunch of different hoopla, hoopla going on in your life, and you know you're a hot ass mess, would you want to date something like that? You, you're not, I mean, your mindset all out, you know, all out the box. You know, you all, your energy is all over here. All these different things that's going on in your life. But those are the times where when you trust, when you allow yourself to pray for things, you have to be be careful what you pray for. You know, if you, there's, like I told you before, even I had a poem out that one of my love bugs that I used to be in contact with had um, shared with me. It, I mean, brought tears to my eyes because the situation was totally true. It's just like when you want love, you have to be able to really go through a true heartbreak for you to be able to appreciate that love in your life. So if you have currently went through a relationship that has been so toxic out of this world where there's times you sit by yourself and cry and ask why did these things happen to you but a lot of times i'm gonna tell you like Medea used to always tell in her videos you seen all the flags there you just didn't want to pay attention to them there, there was times that god many times left them, them easter eggs for you to say leave this person alone but you oh no i love them they love me and all this and this and this and that you have to be able to go through all those different things so it's just like for me you know i didn't just have to grieve of the death of my dad i had to grieve of the the truth that my, my family covered up a lot of things. You know, they, they kept me away. You know, they told my dad certain things about me that wasn't true. They embellished on things that, that, he, that he would pray that he would leave me alone for it. Like he wouldn't want me in his life. You know, and I think they probably did the same thing with my mom. But, you know, all these things I had to come to terms with, with seeing how my relationship truly was, even though I seen it the way it was, but I'm thinking my love for that person would change them, but they can't, they, they can't take your love and change. They have to be able to do that on their own regardless on the things like you're, you're reflecting on your certain situation. They have to do the same thing, but if they're not doing that work, you have to just say, well, thank you for that experience and going about your business. You can't cling on to something that you, you already see that happiness is not there. So you have to be able to heal yourself in many ways and love yourself on all levels. So when you finally do get to that point, you can be able to have somebody who's going to love you just the same as you love you. So it's just like with us being empaths, we have a bad habit of placing love on people. But when we need it for ourselves, we neglect to do that. So God allows certain things to unfold for you have no choice but to love yourself on all levels and all directions. So a lot of things we have to go on in life and trust that process. So whatever you got going on in your life, you, you know you have anxiety, fear, or qualms about whatever. Pray about that. That's why they say, don't worry about anything, pray about everything. Because as long as you, you know, you leave that prayer, like, I don't, you know, I have to tell God sometimes when I start crying and certain things unfold to me where it does. My God, I understand what road you're taking me on, but please give me the strength to endure it. Because a lot of times I used to get mad because I asked God not to have me a stressful day. Then next, you know, I all hell break loose and I get mad. Like, see, I prayed to you and you didn't give me what I wanted. Yes, he did. But you have to be very careful about how you pray for certain things. You, if you ask God, you know, you know, you got stress going on in your life. You have to ask Him, "Can I, God? I, I need that strength." Or what archangel you ever, you know, the ones that see fit on certain things that they do and the certain ones they work on with certain things. Those are the ones you need to call on and ask. You know, can you? Please give me the strength to endure whatever this has got going on because you can't guarantee a stressful day because what universe is just seeing something that's happening. They don't see it whether it's good or it's bad. It's just whatever you're projecting out to the world is that's what you tend to get. So you have to be able to have that faith in them to lo lo know that they're not going to lead you astray where you have to go through certain things just to get to certain things. And I always have to tell people that trust the process. A lot of people might leave your life. A lot of things might not go right. It can really mess you up in a mental. But these are the things that's going to, you know, enhance the things that you have coming towards your life. Your life experience is going to be that thing that's going to bring you that power, bring you that joy, bring you that love. Yeah, nobody guaranteed you it was, it was going to be easy because if it was easy, 
you ain't gonna learn anything from that process of getting it in the first place so allow yourself to be able to trust in the universe and know that even though it might not be clear to you trust and believe you're gonna come out on top at the end and everything will be worth what you went through so i hope you are able to resonate the content of my video much love to you i hope you have a great weekend and let me give a post notification out to Casey Shaw, much love to you, girl. I hope everything is good. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And share and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.